Today, let's collect John Constantine, the Hellblazer. Hey everyone, welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting and another episode in our Let's Collect series. Today we're talking about John Constantine, uh, the Hellblazer, everyone's favorite chain-smoking, anti-hero, con artist, uh, warlock that's a bit of an anti-hero. Uh, he was first created back in 1985 by Alan Moore and Steve Bissett. Um, and yeah, he's been a very popular character in the comics and and he's had his own he's had a Keanu Reeves movie there's been uh he had a TV series that was short lived but then was enough of a fan the actor was enough fan favorite they brought him back in several other series on the WB so yeah Constantine's been in multiple media he's been in animated movies he's been in shows been in the comics uh definitely kind of the favorite magical uh counteract to uh, Zatanna in the DC comic realm in terms of just, you know, he's kind of the, Zatanna's more of the positive side, he's a little bit more of a con artist, a trickster, uh, and, but, you know, always out to try to do the right thing, uh, the way he sees it, at least. So, today we're gonna, Let's Collect is our guide to the key comics, uh, important stories, or just some of the stories, and, uh, cool covers for a character, so that's what we're gonna, we're gonna be focused on John Constantine today, um, in those key comics, cool character, uh, cool stories, and cool covers, um, this is not meant to be an absolutely complete guide, it's just meant, meant to be a starter guide for anyone wanting to get into this character. So first up, we're gonna talk about the key comics for John Constantine. All right, we're going to start with his keys. Uh, these keys are all very affordable, except for maybe this one, Saga Swamp Thing, number 37, his first full appearance in 1985. This is the one big book in the group. Next, we have Saga Swamp Thing, number 25, from 1984. This is a cameo appearance. Um, not ever really confirmed it's him, but it sure looks like him. He was in a preview in DC Samper, number 3. A very cheap book that you can get if you want that preview. Some people consider those keys, some don't. His second full appearance is in Crisis of Infinite Earth, number four from 1985. Also a super, vi or super affordable book for a second appearance. The first Justice League Dark cameo that he's a part of is in Swamp Thing, number 45 from 1986. Uh, his first cover doesn't come to Who's Who, update nine, at 97, number three. You can see him there between the legs of the ladies on the cover. Uh, his first solo series, uh, Hellblazer number one from 1988, also the first appearance of Papa Midnight. A fairly valuable book, but also fairly affordable. Uh, Hellblazer number 41 uh, was the reveal that he had lung cancer, which has been a long part of his story uh, as he's been in the comics. Uh, a fun one, Doom Patrol number 53, the first Hellblazer as a costume hero. You never see him as a costume unless you consider the trench coat. And it's only a dream. And then finally, we have Hellblazer number 300, the final issue of his first ongoing series. Very rarely does one make it 300 issues. Okay, so those were our key comics for Constantine. Uh, pretty impressive that his first series went for 300 issues. Uh, you don't see that very often a, for definitely a character that's not considered one of the main characters of a universe. I would argue maybe he has become a pretty prominent character, at least in DC. Um, and he's had multiple series since uh, that first series went for 300 issues. So a lot of Constantine co comics out there. Um, but next, we're going to talk about some of the cool or some of the important stories. Obviously, this is not meant to be a complete guide. I looked on the line because I haven't read all of these. Um, and there was a ton of different stories people recommended for Constantine. So I think it's really just a matter of diving in. But these give you a place to start. And I'm sure you'll find more to read after that. So here are the important stories for John Constantine. All right, our stories, we're going to start off with the first story arc from his first solo series, Original Sin. It really sets the tone for everything that comes later in terms of how he handles himself and what kind of hero he actually is. Next, we're going to talk about Newcastle, which is Hellblazer 11, so only a single issue here. 
this is really the tells the story of the first mistake he makes that costs someone their soul and really sets up the guilt that he lives with and that drives him through much of his story arc. Next, we have Dangerous Habits, Hellblazer 41 through 46. This is a story arc where he learns about that he has cancer and how he kind of deals with that information in only a way that Constantine would. Next, we have Haunted, Hellblazer 134 through 139. In this story arc, an ex is found murdered and he goes after the killer in, an, in the hopes of actually giving her ghost a chance to rest. And then finally, we have another single issue, Hold Me, Hellblazer number 27, story arc written by, a story written by Neil Gaiman, uh, where he goes to try to really, you see a little bit of a softer side of Constantine. All right, so those are our important stories. So we only got one category to go left, which is the cool covers. Now, the way I try to do this usually is I try to limit myself to one cover per cover artist. Uh, that way we kind of spread it out. You don't have one cover artist kind of dominating the whole list. Uh, I was successful in doing that this time. So there's definitely, which means there'll definitely be some covers out there that people love that are not included in my list. Um, and obviously this is a little different than uh, some of our uh, female characters that seem to have a lot of really great covers. But I feel like we got a good good range of covers that really represent the character and do a good job of being kind of fun as well as really just powerful covers. So with that, here are the cool covers for Constantine. All right, these covers are all in order when they came out, not any other order. First, we have Hellblazer number seven, uh, the, my favorite of the Dave McKean covers from the early part of the run. I just love the haunted guy, him standing over a guy who's clearly being haunted. Next, we have Hellblazer 45 by Tom Canty. Uh, I just love the imagery here, the fire, the way his eyes are lit. I just think it's a really cool cover. Next, we have Hellblazer number 76 by Glenn Fabry. Uh, him walking alongside a ghost. Just a great cover. Next, we have Hellblazer number 125. This Son Phillips cover was tough to pick because there's a lot of good ones, but I love this one with the trench coat on fire. Next, we have this Tim Bradstreet cover. I just love this one. Just I, iconic Constantine lighting up the cigarette. Next, we have Hellblazer number 220, this Leonardo Manco cover. I love him just walking to it, the, the red behind him, just a really cool cover. Next, Hellblazer 290, the Simon Bisley cover with him in the grave, just another really great cover. Next, we have the cover I've been using for all the, the thumbnails, the Riley Rossmo cover from Constantine Hellblazer number one. I love it about to walk down the alley. Uh, we have this Yasmin Putri cover. Uh, where he's getting lit up, a demon's lighting a cigarette for him, and he's thanking him. I just think that's really cool. And then finally, we have this uh, J.P. Leon cover uh, from Hellblazer 12. All right, everyone. Those are our key comics, important stories, and cool covers for John Constantine. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, uh, I try to give you a nice starter kit of things to look for if you're interested in a character and wanting to collect them with this series. Today we talked about Constantine. I think there's some good books here. He's super affordable character to collect outside of that very first appearance uh, in Swamp Thing 37. Otherwise, all of these books are really pretty affordable. So if you love Constantine, get out there and collect.